Tonight, Pueblo police are working to get to the bottom of what led to a deadly four car crash. Now we're hearing from a Pueblo photographer who watched the tragic scene unfold. The crash happened on Pueblo Boulevard and Lehigh Avenue. Cardio News Channel 13's Barbara Fox is live at that intersection with the story. Barbara. <clears throat> this is the aftermath of a car crash involving four vehicles at the intersection of Pueblo Boulevard and Lehigh Avenue. Never seen anything like this before. It was sickening. On Saturday, David Hayden was driving along Pueblo Boulevard to a photo shoot when he noticed a white Lexus weaving in and out of traffic. Yeah, what was going through my mind is this is going to be really bad. Um, I was driving down the road in the left lane. I saw a car coming up pretty quick from the fat, from the past, uh, from the back. I mean, I went to look over to the right to see if I had room to get out of the way. Hayden says he was able to pull into the Dairy Queen parking lot to get out of the way. It seemed really fast. You don't know how your mind compresses stuff, but it went. I saw him, then I saw him around me swerving. A couple seconds later, I thought, boy, this is going to be a huge wreck. And Police say the white car crossed the center dividing line and went head on into another vehicle. Two other vehicles, including this red truck, were hit as well. I just saw debris flying around. The young woman that died in the crash, Michaela Ellen Galeos, was in the back seat of this white Lexus. Pueblo police say nobody in that car was wearing a seatbelt. This intersection is now cleaned up, but Pueblo police say this busy intersection is where many residents speed. I just wish people would slow down. I mean. Life's too short to be in that much of a hurry. Pueblo police are still working to determine exactly what led to this deadly crash. They believe speed is only one possible cause. Police say alcohol and drugs could have also played a role.